I was trying to think what I was going to talk about today, and we're just going to talk a little bit about nutrition. And when I was leaving the house this morning, my wife said to me, she said, hey, I want you to be vulnerable and really talk to people about really what's going on in your life. And so, uh, about two years ago, um, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I had chest pains, and I was short of breath. It was three in the morning. I, I was feeling really, really uncomfortable. And I decided I was going to get in my car and drive myself to the hospital at 3 in the morning. And I woke up my wife and I said, honey, I think I'm having a heart attack. And she looked at me, can you imagine your husband waking you up at 3 o'clock in the morning and saying, I think I have, I'm having a heart attack and I'm driving myself to the hospital. So she started to freak out. We have two young children at home. So she couldn't leave. So I got in the car and I drove to the hospital. And it turned out that I was having a pre-signs of a heart attack. And about three hours later, I had a stent put in my and I was at 40 years old. And it was a real eye awakening to me and sort of my lifestyle and how I was acting and eating and all the things that I was doing. As you know, I'm in the restaurant business, so my, my job is a little bit of a hazard when it comes to heart health. And so, you know, I was eating at Modern Steak every day, Zinn Burger, uh, Blanco. In the process of all this, we were doing True Food and I sort of kind of got reinvigorated with True Food and I spent a lot of time with Andy Wilde, who's my partner in the, in the restaurant and uh, actually went and spent some time in the integrative medicine program down at the University of Arizona and just I really decided to make a lifestyle change and really dedicated myself to my wife and my family and to all the people that depend on me. And so I kind of just took a whole new approach to how I wanted to eat and how I wanted to behave and I wound up losing 20 pounds. Uh, I was not exercising, I started to exercise regularly and uh, it was a real sort of aha and sort of life-changing moment for me and for my family and also for my business career and really as True Food started to grow and started to develop, it was really something that my passion became really uh, a lot more about. When I first did the concept with Andy, Andy and I had worked on it for about a year and a half and I really didn't have a lot of passion for it. It wasn't how I lived my lifestyle, it wasn't how I was eating. And uh, like I said, I was more modern steak than true food. And, um, and, and with the incident that I had when I was 40 years old, you know, and spending more time with Andy and his medical team, you know, I felt like this is really the right way to go. With food today, being the way it is processed and refined and manufactured, we're seeing so many issues with cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes and obese children. And so we've kind of taken it on a mission in ourselves at True Food and within our organization to try and do better and trying to educate the public, trying to give more choices to people, and trying to make the experience really easy. Um, for me, when I go to True Food, it's a really easy experience for me to eat healthy. And as I see the future of where food goes and what our obligation is as an organization here in the Valley and hopefully around the country, hopefully we'll be making better choices and giving people the opportunity, especially children, to make those choices and have a better chance of not being obese or not getting cardiovascular disease. So glad to be here this morning. Happy Valentine's Day.